So if you remember, your very first exercise is the dumbbell half get up. So legs straight, arms straight, almost to a seated position. Oh, we got 60 seconds of maximum quality reps. day today, whatever number of the week you are on for this ad flow, and I assume I sent it to you in the text, uh, hope that it's going good, we got to go to the other arm in about 15 seconds, <sighs> next bell, get ready, set, let's go. Five seconds. Uh, time. Okay, good job. Dumbbell in and outs are next. You can always do it without the dumbbell. But we crush it. We go one, two. Let me open the window. Five seconds left. Keep going. And time. Plank with dumbbell tap. That's the low plank. And remember, you should have your legs far apart, arms narrow, close together, palms up. And you can do it from your knees. You can do just the plank. But the ultimate challenge is to reach out with one arm and the other tap with minimal external rotation or uh, tilting of the body. Uh oh. Hi, Lou. Say hi to Kelly. Okay, go ahead and start. Okay. Thank you, good boy.
they're needing ladder obliques. So six is still the highest number anyone's gotten to in a minute. Whatever we do on one side, we roll, we do on the other, try to match our number. Doing good. <laughs> 10 seconds before we start. Okay, ready? Let's start. One, roll, match one. Two, roll, match two. Hey, Lou. Oh, let me see. Uh, three, roll, match three. Six. I'm going to go past the clock to match six on the other side. Two last time. But I encourage you to match with me whatever number you left off on. Good job. Okay, dumbbell plank rotations, the hardest one. Now, you can either do the stack and rotate from plank, or you can kneel. And you can put a hand down that matches the kneeling leg, straight rear leg, and then kind of like we do our runner stretch with triangle twist, you can open and close. So choose what's right for you, or do a hybrid as you fatigue. Start here with the harder, and then adjust to a kneeling and palm stance. Ooh. Now we're going to do the other side after our rest. So I did 10 from the toes, 6 from the knee, so I had 16 rotations. I did this yesterday and I'm feeling it. So that's also a good way to gauge if you should adjust, right? If you had a workout the day before and you're feeling that workout, you want to keep your form clean. Make those adjustments. Okay, 3 seconds to the other side. I'm going to start low plank. Wide legs. Jump, hollow, rocking boat. Your dumbbells are done for this ab flow. Okay. Hardest challenge is that it's a time under tension activity. Try to get your lower back off the ground and try to get your shoulders off the ground, depending on which way you're rocking. One, 
Chainsaws, which could also be scissors. I'm gonna put my hands out to the side and try to drop on that 45 degree angle while continuously crisscrossing the feet. Remember, it's okay if you're not 100% good at all of this. You got eight weeks to get good at it. Okay, chainsaws in three seconds. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna bring mine up. Drop down on a diagonal. Use my abs and my hip flexors. That's what's always tough about leg lifts, is it's very intense on the hip flexors, but I think you have to think about having strong hip flexors to keep your legs capable and to keep your core strength solid as far as balancing with your legs is concerned. So if your hip flexors start to really hurt, or you had an injury, or you're a heavier individual, or even a taller one with longer legs, then we might need to make adjustments. You have to do that with guys like Phil and John because they're so tall. But for you, these will be perfect. Get the low abs working, get the legs working, keep the hip flexors strong so you can keep walking and lunging and doing all the activities that you want to do. Time. Okay, so now, hip raise. So this is the one where the legs are straight, and we just take our butt up, take our butt up. It's the progression from the reverse crunch, which we did in the last ab flow. Just making it a little bit harder. A lot of these are done on a progression from the previous one. Five seconds. going. Okay, I'm back to action. Here we go. with a late start. In and out, we do two sets of them. Here he comes. Hey, Billy boy. Fuck it. Oh man, you teased me. You threw it to me and then caught it. Okay, you're not gonna give it to me right now. I gotta do my in and out doubles. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. 
you're not coupling this workout with one of the hip workouts that I'm sending to you, then another good thing to do would be to stretch and make it a long stretch or go out and go for a run and then do your hip workout tomorrow. Otherwise, we finish this out, we'll do a little recovery, stretch for our stomach, and then you can jump into that video. But as far as this goes, last one, best one. Okay, let's go. Come on. too much so that this becomes repeatable. Let's go ahead and post. Take a big breath. Head up, hips up on the exhale. Hold. Push your stomach down. Push your hips up. Big inhale. Exhale in reverse. Pushing your back up nice and high. Big breath in. Breathe out, head up, hips up. Hey, Lou. Hold through the bell. Good job, Cal. 